Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, which you probably all are because I literally have like six subscribers, welcome back for those six of you that follow me. But we can only go up from here, right? That's my motto. So let's start with why I did YouTube. I know everybody's like, you can't even work the calendar on your phone. You're right. I cannot use the calendar on my phone. I don't want to use the calendar on my phone. I need a paper calendar. It's just how it is. But I needed a hobby. And my husband is a beekeeper. My husband has a big garden, which I help him with the garden, I do. But I need something like for me. So I used to do scrapbooking. I'm so behind with my scrapbooking. I think Faith was probably in kindergarten and she's just started high school. So there's no catching up from that. I can just take my mom life chaos and I can just make it into a big scrapbook for everybody to look at. And then everybody can feel better about their lives. It's like hoarders, right? You watch hoarders and then you feel better about your chaos in your house because you're like, gosh, at least mine's not that chaotic or that cluttered. I'm here for you. You're welcome. I'm going to help you feel better about your life. <laughs> I'm just as surprised as everybody else when this stuff comes out. I thought about going to the gym and I mean, with what time? I mean, my kids can't go to the gym with me and my mama goes into witness protection program on the weekends when she don't have them so I can't get in touch with her. Literally, I pick them up and I'm pretty sure like my hair flies because the door slams so fast when I leave. My dad is in the corner on the couch shaking because his nerves are shot. They just can't handle it like they used to. <laughs> you know, we call it the witching hour around that time. And so they get fussy, they're hungry, they're tired. And you mamas know exactly what I'm talking about. But I found out why my mom was so tired yesterday when I picked my kids up because she tried to catch a hummingbird. I mean, she succeeded. She caught the thing between two of Ellie's uh, plastic skillets and she caught this hummingbird mama come on now you got a bad back you know they go into witness protection program when I'm not around them so I can't go to the gym here's when it really all started during the COVID shutdown so you can all blame this on that there's something else we can all blame on COVID Noelle started a YouTube channel great turn the TV on what was on the TV COVID. Don't go outside. You're, you're all gonna die. Like that's that's all you saw. Literally remember there was like the the COVID count, like the death count on the side of the TV screen every time you turned it on. Go on Facebook. Go on Instagram. All you saw was COVID. COVID. Everybody's sick. Everybody's dying. I thought well heck I don't want to watch that. You, you can't turn on the TV without getting away from it. You can't turn on your phone without getting away from it. You, Facebook, social media, Google. You couldn't even go into a restaurant or the grocery store without seeing a big sign about COVID and having to put your mask on. Like it was everywhere. You could not get away from it. I'm used to being around people a lot like all day every day and so being stuck in the house I mean it could get depressing especially when you throw on top of it. If you go outside, you're going to die. Like you can't even go to the grocery store. I thought, you know what? We're going to watch Netflix. Tiger King. I watched that. It came to an end. You know, you could binge watch it and then it's done. Uh, the two ladies from Nashville that like, um, that, that organize everybody's houses. If I could tell you how many clear bins that I bought after that, I was going to organize my home. That lasted a whole two seconds, but I was watching them. I was, I watched all of them and all that and I thought, well, maybe I'll just find a YouTube channel and watch people organize stuff. I used to fuss at Faith when she was younger. I'd say, Faith, you're watching YouTube and you are watching kids play with the exact toys that you have in your room. Like you own those toys and you're watching those kids on YouTube play with them. Why? Go play with them yourself. You have them in your room. But she would get, she would just watch them all the time, play with these toys or play with Play-Doh or watch grown people play with Elsa and Anna dolls. I don't know why, but they chose to do and they have more views and subscribers than me. So hey, more power to them. But she would watch them. It made no sense to me. And now I completely get it because I watch grown women organize their bathroom cabinets and their refrigerators and I watch them buy all these clear containers and put stuff in them. I hate to sound rude. Like I, I don't want to sound rude, but I genuinely don't care who you voted for, if you got a vaccine or not. You know, to me, that's just causing people to be more anxious and like on edge and disagree and fight. And like, I don't, that's not what I want to be on social media for. The reason I want to be on there is because of memes. 
I genuinely don't know what I laughed at before there were memes. I started watching more of these moms that are at home and they have these beautiful houses and you know, their, their dirty house is like my clean house, somebody's about to come over kind of house. The more I watch it, the more I learn, like, I love watching it. It's very aesthetically pleasing, and their, their kids are good, and their houses stay clean, and they but that's not my real life. And there weren't a lot of working moms on YouTube. But it can almost be like my diary or my scrapbook or, you know, something I can look back on one day and with the kids and, or with my husband and, you know, look back and watch videos that I wouldn't have normally had to look back on unless I was making them for a reason, which is YouTube. Now, do I think I'm going to get rich on YouTube? No, I do not think I'm going to get rich on YouTube. Do I think I'm going to have a million subscribers and 625,000 views on my videos? It's not going to happen. But you know what? It is so far out of my comfort zone. If anybody knows me that watches this or knows about this YouTube, knows I cannot even work my cell phone properly. I can't work the calendar on my cell phone. I have to have a paper calendar. I cannot log in. I know my all my kids' teachers are so annoyed with me because they think, how hard can it be, lady? I just need you to fill out this paperwork and send it back to me. Don't know how. And I'm like, my brain wants to like bust open just trying to remember all the passwords and, and logins. And all my kids have a different app at each school and daycare and it's the way my brain's set up. I don't know. I've had to I've had to like YouTube every step of the way. How to start a YouTube channel, how to how to edit videos, how to do a voiceover, how to like I've had to learn and how to navigate all of this stuff, which for me is a pretty big deal because like I said, the way my brain's set up, it's just not feasible for technology. Okay, so even before I had my two youngest that we adopted, People would hear stories of faith and stories of my husband, stories of just things that happened to me. I'm one of those people that if something happens, they go, of course it would happen to you. That's just me. So people for years have been saying, Noel, you need a reality show. Well, guess what? TLC ain't exactly beating my door down. So I'm gonna do a YouTube. I'm gonna make you feel better about your life. You get to see a little into my life. If you're looking for a YouTube channel that is like, oh, I want to watch it and relax, or oh, I want to see her clean kitchen, this ain't that. This is not that. Just go ahead and stop the video right now. This is real life, behind the scenes, what most people edit out, stuff. Why did I start a YouTube channel? Mamas out there need to know that's not real life. What you see on Facebook is not real life. What you see on YouTube is not real life. Like, it's, it's easy to get sucked into that because you're comparing your real life to everybody else's edited life. And that can be very defeating. You can allow that to take away your joy because that's not reality. I was watching all these YouTubers, and I, I mean, they're great. They're wonderful people, and they're doing very well at what they do. But that's just not my reality. And I feel like mamas out there and busy women out there, like, they need to know edited videos and those Facebook pictures you see where everybody's kids are put together and everybody's outfits match like that's not reality I mean, If your outfits match that's great if you've got your life together I'm proud that you do I just I don't so my YouTube channel I'm doing for me, but I'm also doing for busy moms out there that don't always have it together That's okay. You know what her kids act a fool Her husband don't help her clean <laughs> I'm sorry. All the YouTubers I watch, like, their husbands help them clean, and mine don't. Mine could live in a pigsty. He did when I met him. He was in an apartment. It was awful, and he was just okay with that. Initially, I told maybe three people I was doing a YouTube channel. My husband and my mom was actually last. I probably told her last because, you know, mamas, like, they always have an opinion on everything. But then the other day, I walk in her house to drop Emmy off, and she goes, What'd you do with all those books? And I said, What books, Mama? And she said, The ones in your YouTube video. I saw some of them I might want. Oh, you did? You watched it, huh? Okay. Okay. And then today, I dropped my kids off, you know, when she's telling me the whole hummingbird story. She goes, What was that you were cooking in your video? You watched my video again, huh? And then we had like a five-minute argument on what a butternut squash looks like. <laughs> I don't know. She wonders where I get it from. 
my husband it was a hundred percent supportive we actually talked about it prior to me deciding and he said well i'm gonna do he's a beekeeper and so he said i'm gonna make me a beekeeping like tips and tricks and honey and how to spin the honey and then i'm gonna make me mine and we'll just make it a little competition and see who gets the most likes and most subscribers but i mean i have a few videos up they're not good but you gotta start somewhere and you know he don't even have a page yet made with a profile picture on it so <laughs> i'm just saying i don't know that he's really committed i don't know i'm just saying mine's up and going nobody's keeping a tally or anything <laughs> it's just gonna be real life behind the scenes Probably what most people crop out, I'm not. Because I'm going to make you feel better about your life. You're welcome. I'm glad I could do it. And hopefully all you mamas out there can see that, you know, life is not perfect. Um, kids aren't always good. They don't always wear their hair bows. My kids are always sticky and dirty. And I mop before I can get to the next room. One of them spilt something or stuck a sucker on something. And, like, that's real life to me. And so... Maybe that can help you out. Like I said, this is so far out of my comfort zone that y'all just don't even know. I appreciate y'all supporting me and sticking it out with me while I learn how to like edit and voiceover and all this stuff. And I cannot wait to share my YouTube journey with all of y'all. And, you know, maybe I'll hit it big and have like 50 subscribers one day. I don't know. The sky's the limit. So thank you so much for joining me today. And I hope that you would consider liking and subscribing so you can see more videos of mine and more of our crazy life. So I will see you in the next video.